All right, we made it to San Pancho here in the Vallarta area for the next five days. San Francisco, better known as San Pancho, is a Mexican beach town in the state of Nayarit. It's located about 31 miles, 50 kilometers, north of Puerto Vallarta on Federal Highway 200. From Guadalajara, it was about a four-hour road trip. You can also take the bus or fly into the Puerto Vallarta airport. San Pancho very much has a boho hippie vibe. The area is popular with surfers. The town's proximity to Puerto Vallarta and Sayulita mean it's no stranger to tourism, but it definitely didn't feel overrun, although that could have had something to do with the fact that we were visiting during the week. During the few days that we were here, I heard quite a bit of English spoken. San Pancho attracts an international crowd, including foreigners from the US, Canada, France, and other Latin American countries. This isn't a big party destination, but rather a nice spot to chill out, catch some waves, and eat some incredible vegan food. Recommendation to come. The principal street in San Pancho starts where you turn off the highway and runs all the way down to the beach. It's lined with restaurants, shops, tour operators, and cafes. The town is very, very walkable. afternoon and oh my gosh the sand is very hot but the water is so refreshing this isn't one of the best beaches for swimming just because I mean look the waves are so big but definitely a nice uh, a nice chill atmosphere a cool place to spend the afternoon As I said earlier, San Pancho isn't known for wild nightlife. You'll need to go to Sayulita for that. But there are a lot of options for a nice meal. We had dinner at Olarica, which has its own pizza oven, and the location on the main drag meant entertainment all evening. It seems to me that a lot of people compare San Pancho and Sayulita, and while I have been to Sayulita, I don't really want to compare the two because I was definitely in Sayulita at a very, very high point in the high season. I was there for New Year's and it was absolutely crazy. So definitely by comparison, San Pancho seems a lot more relaxed. I'm here at the end of April, I'm here during the week, and while there are a lot of um, international tourists, international visitors, or maybe people living here for the winter, um, it's still really relaxed, really, really quiet, really chill, which is how I've heard a lot of people describe it. Definitely heard people give the comparison that San Pancho is what Sayulita was like 10, 15 years ago. And if you were in Sayulita 10, 15 years ago, I would love to, to hear your thoughts. But really, um, San Pancho is a place that I could definitely see myself coming back to again and again. One of the reasons I could definitely see myself coming back to San Pancho again and again is all of the cute shopping. There are so many little spots with jewelry, swimsuit cover-ups, swimsuits, sandals. I won't lie, it's a little pricey, but you're gonna find some really unique items. 
There are also lots of little art galleries to pop into. It's a very, very creative town. And above all, yes, Mina's place. I mean, yes, the beach was beautiful, but I am coming back to San Pancho to eat here. I don't want to hype it up too much. Who am I kidding? I'm definitely going to hype it all the way up. This is hands down one of the best places that I have ever eaten in Mexico. The food is so creative. There are so many options to make your meal vegetarian friendly, vegan friendly. This is a little lentil soup that came out. And oh, the cilantro shots in between all those margaritas and cervezas. We had to do a little something for our health. Good morning from San Pancho. I am just up on the roof now having some coffee. We are at our Airbnb and this is actually an Airbnb that a tailor found. We are here this week with some of his friends from Michigan and I am super impressed. I usually do most of the trip planning. I might have to let Taylor pick out the Airbnbs from now on because this place let me show you. Nice job finding this place. Thank you. Had a cup of coffee here, but there are so many cute cafes. Cafes. <laughs> there are so many cute cafes in San Pancho that I wanted to head out and, and check one of them out. So let's see what we can find. They were not ready for their cheers. Cheers. If you have any questions or want to share your own experience in San Pancho, please feel free to do so in the comments below. I'm Alex from backpackingbrunette.com. Thanks for watching.